Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on my February favorites. These are some new products that I purchased, some old products that I'm realizing that I love so much, and I'm just going to get into it. I do not purchase a lot of new makeup because I have a ton behind me. Don't mind my messiness. If you can hear metal music in the background, my husband is listening to death metal, so I apologize. Well, I am just going to get into it. So, some of the first products that I've been loving this month are, I did a recent full video about this, but this is the Melt uh, Dark Matter Eyeshadow Stack, and the colors are phenomenal. I love them so much. Every single day since I've gotten this, I have used it. All of the colors in it are beautiful. This one is... Oh, to die. But these two I wear every day basically as transition shades. I've got them on my lids today. Um, and then I have a little bit of this on and I only use the black really if I want something that's really super highly pigmented black or if I'm doing like a super dramatic smoky eye. Love that so much. It is super expensive so um, you know it's not one of those things where I'm like you must go out and buy it because it's like crazy stupid expensive. Another product that I purchased which was recommended from Nikki Tutorials is this. This is the MAC Shaping. This is the MAC Shaping Powder in Emphasize. Um, is that what it's called? This is the MAC Pro... This is the MAC Shaping Powder in Emphasize, and it is just this incredibly white color. That This works really well to be the base that you put on top of your like concealer. So I use like a concealer all over my eyelids, and then I powder over it so that it is nice and white so that everything else that shows up on top of it is really vibrant and this is a really good color to powder. I also use this on the inner corners of my eyes and to highlight certain areas. Also if I want like a really stark contour and I want to kind of cut this area down here, this is really good. It was not that expensive. I don't know. I really like it though. It's a really nice um, white, white matte with a tad bit of shimmer. Never noticed that little bit of shimmer in there but there is. My favorite lip combo this month has been Mixing this NYX Cirque, 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 why can't I say that name? This lipstick with the Gerard Cosmetics 1995. I am obsessed with these two together. This is probably my favorite lipstick of life. And I, I'm not just saying that because everybody loves Jaclyn Hale and everybody loves these lipsticks. There's just something about this lipstick combo that I really like. I think that the color is so flattering, the 1995 lipstick. It's just such a beautiful color and it works for every day. I wear this almost every single day to work and nobody ever thinks like that I look too nude or too, it's just a really perfect combo. I have been absolutely loving the NYC liquid liner. I did it today to wing out my eyeliner. I'm not wearing lashes, even though <sighs> I need some lashes, girl. The NYC liquid liner, though, is super black. It's super cheap. It is amazing. Everyone online is going to rave about it, but it really is that good. I love the pigmentation of it. I love how easy it is to apply. The brush flicks in such a way that it's hard for me to screw up my liner. So, yeah, I really like that. A new favorite that I have just recently purchased that I am literally, like, sickeningly obsessed with, this is my first ever full-size bottle of high-end perfume, is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This, when I first smelled it, I got it in a free sample from Sephora, and when I first smelled it, I was shocked at how good it smells. It's floral, but not sickening. It's not like Chloe. When I smelled Chloe, I was like, meh, and then when I bought it, I was like, Bleh, and I had to return it, because it is like pukey rose smelling. If you like it, I'm really sorry. But the Misty Dior Blooming Bouquet is like, let me smell it. Let me see if I got this. Fresh, clean, floral. It's not overly floral where you smell it and you like want to throw up because it's like too many flowers. It's just really fresh and clean. The only negative that I have to say about this is that personally for me, I have to reapply this throughout the day because I can't smell it anymore. And for the price I paid for this, like a hundred fucking dollars, it should last a lot longer than it does. So it's amazing, it's beautiful, the bottle is gorgeous. I like treasure it in my life, but it is really expensive and um, it doesn't last long enough for me. So last few things that I'm going to mention are some brushes. I did mention these all in my 2014 favorites, not all of them, but most of them. And then I'm gonna go on to some products that I do not like in the last month especially. So favorite brush, of the month is this. I got this in my Coastal Sense brush kit and this is, it doesn't have names, they don't have names, but it's like this dual fiber brush and this is awesome for doing a contour. 
Now keep in mind, no contour today. I didn't feel like contouring my face at work on a random day of the week. It just isn't gonna happen for me today. But when I do wanna contour, this does a really good job because it's not too dense that it like pushes the product into one spot and then you have like brown dots on your face. It's good enough to where you can really nicely blend out your contour, so I like that. For the transition color, I have really, I love my Sigma E40 blending brush. I know I've mentioned this so many times, but it's so good for just blending out this transition shade. It works so well, I love it so much. For getting a, not precision, I would not say this does precision at all, but this is the Zoeva Lux Soft Definer brush, and I love this brush so much because it is big enough to where you can really get a beautiful smoked out color, but it's small enough that you can, it's not as smoked out as like the Sigma E40. You can see the two compared to each other. There are, they are just a little bit different. I mean, they're very similarly shaped, but Oh, I just love this. It's a little sh shorter and more densely packed. For getting right into the crease, I love the Lux Petite Crease Brush by Zoeva. Such a good crease blending brush because it really can get in there and smoke those colors. I hate the word smoke when it comes to eyes. It's so embarrassed. It cringes me. But you can really blend the, a really nice dark deep crease with this one. Another brush that I love that I like so much because it, for one, it's soft. It's very, it stands up to its name. It's called the It Cosmetics Airbrush Blending Crease Brush, and it is an airbrushed look, and it is very soft. I really like this brush. My last favorite brush is the Sigma E15 Flat Definer Brush. This, of all the brushes, is my absolute favorite brush. I don't know how I lived without this. I literally love this brush. This brush is perfect for doing concealer, like when you need to fix your winged liner. I'm gonna do a whole video on fixing fucked up wing liner because it is like a godsend. You can be a terrible piece of shit at wing liner and you will make your wing liner look amazing with this trick. I'm going to do a video on it. I might do one soon. I might even do it in the next week or so because amazing trick by the way. This brush is like a life changer for that because it's flat, it's perfect, it's dense, it stays very sharp. It makes just the lines just perfect and sharp. I love this brush. If I have any other brush, I love this brush. And then I have one more favorite, and that is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. And this is amazing. I heard about this from Nikki Tutorials too. Man, I love that bitch. But it is a glossy, perfect, amazing, i put it on. Look at that gloss. If you want a glossy lip, go for the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. It's soft, it's not sticky, it's hydrating on your lips. It's amazing. I did some Instagram posts with it recently and I used it glossiness on my eyes glossiness on my lips. So beautiful. So go check out my Instagram because I did some amazing posts with those recently. So good. I'm serious guys, like fucking amazing. Let's move on to a couple of products that I really am disappointed with. <sighs> the first product that I literally have tried using a trillion times and want to like it and I watch a million girls on YouTube use it and they just love it and they talk nothing but good things about it and I don't understand it because I, I just don't get it, is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I still keep mine because I do use it, but I cannot use it for concealer. And it, it just pisses me off because I just watched Wayne Goss use it in a video. I just watched it like five minutes ago. And five minutes, I've been talking for 15 minutes. Uh, but he uses it, it looks beautiful on his under eyes, and then you put it on mine, and it is like dry, cakey, crumbly, creasy, pieces of shit. It looks hideously awful on me, no matter what. Now, I love it for cleaning up my uh, like winged liner or carving out my lips because it does a good job for that, but it's not something that another concealer couldn't do also. I don't, I just understand. It's so expensive too, and I, I, I just... <sighs> another product that I was confused about and I don't know about disappointed with, I'm a little confused with it, it's a good concealer, as in, it covers really well. It is the Revlon Colors, no it's not Colors, it's Revlon Age Defying Dark Spot Concealer Treatment. It, it's interesting. It, it, it works well as covering, however, it creased so bad that some of my subscribers even commented on the creasing. So not wearing this again because I don't like it. I might use this also for the same thing like cleaning up lines because it does have a really high coverage on it but I, I, the creasing I just I just can't. 
Another product that I have used in videos and a lot of people rave about is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Um, I wore this the other day because I really wanted to have that beautiful luminous finish. Halfway through the day, I opened up the mirror in my car, which I can normally do when I wear the Revlon Color Stay, which is where I'm, what I'm wearing here. When I wear Revlon Color Stay, I'm fine. When I opened up the mirror and saw this, my husband and I both commented on how hideous my skin looked. You could see every line, every pore, every single imperfection. It looked highlighted all of my hideousness and just made it just strong, hideous game strong. It was, it was so bad. I, I literally like, I, I couldn't believe how hideous this was on my skin. So definitely not wearing that again. And I've worn it before. I was like, what, is something's changed? Oh, oh God, it's fucking good. This is gonna be gone in like six days if I use as much as I've been using. And that is it for my February favorites and fuck knows. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put up new videos never. Uh, I'm terrible at uploading on a schedule. I tell you every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I put up a video like one Wednesday and then three Fridays from then. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, it will update you when I do put out videos. I'm going to try to get better at it, but I've been saying that for like the last year. So don't take my word for it. But if you would like to subscribe, please do. But like the video if you liked it. If you didn't, well, don't dislike it because... Well, if you want to, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Those are all at Robbie D. Christie. And I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Ladybug. I hate them! Don't you fucking come near me.